Welcome to Vanadium. This is Chris Rankin. The more I learn about this mad world, the more mysterious it seems. On the night of October 15th, 1991, something strange streaked across the Utah sky. It left a fluorescent trail that was picked up by astronomers at the Dugway Proving Ground during an experiment to study cosmic rays. The scientists detected a particle moving at unprecedented speed. It contained energy beyond anything humans have ever created, observed, or even imagined. When it collided with Earth, the Oh My God particle, as it came to be known, had more energy than anything even the universe is supposed to be able to generate. When I say Oh My God particle, I'm not talking about the Higgs boson. As fascinating and as important as that discovery is to the standard model of physics and science, the Oh My God particle is more interesting in many ways. It's yet another sign the universe is much weirder than it seems, and maybe it means we're not alone. The OMG particle coming to Earth was the most energetic event we've ever observed in the universe more powerful than anything the scientists can create at the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. And even today, its cause and source are unidentified. After October of 91, astronomers from the University of Utah determined the OMG's fluorescent trail in the night sky had the signature of a cosmic ray. Lower energy, toned down versions collide with Earth all the time. Right now, while you're watching this video, your DNA is getting sliced up by these tiny, invisible bullets. They're called cosmic rays, even though they're not rays. The name started from a misunderstanding and stuck around. Instead, cosmic rays are actually particles, electrons and protons mostly, but sometimes heavier things like helium or even iron nuclei. Victor Hess discovered cosmic rays during a hot air balloon expedition over Austria in 1911. He concluded that radiation of very high penetrating power enters our atmosphere from above. When particles like this strike the atmosphere, they release a cascade of secondary, lower energy particles that cause the air to fluoresce. By analyzing the size and direction of the glowing streak in the sky from the OMG particle, the astronomers in Utah were able to figure out that it had been caused by a particle that packed a shocking 320 exa-electron volts of energy. To put that into perspective, the exa prefix in exa-electron volt means 10 to the 18 or 10,000 million billion electron volts of energy. Most cosmic rays move much more slowly and carry just 100 to 1,000 electron volts, which is just an infinitesimal fraction of the kind of energy I'm talking about. In fact, the Oh My God particle possessed energy in excess of 20 million times more than the second most energetic thing ever detected in the universe. Light from a jet of gamma radiation from an active galactic nucleus, the Blazar Markarian 501 in deep space. The OMG particle is the fastest thing ever observed, traveling nearly the speed of light. It was going so fast that in a year-long race with light, it would have lost by just a fraction of a second. David Kaida, an astrophysicist at the University of Utah said, nobody ever thought you could concentrate so much energy into a single particle before. When scientists detected the OMG particle in the early 90s, they didn't know what to think. It contained so much energy that it was difficult to determine even what type of particle it was. The leading belief now is the OMG particle was a single proton. This single proton had energy equal to that of a bowling ball dropped from 40 feet. But to put that into perspective, a bowling ball contains as many protons as there are stars in the universe. On the night of 1991, around five miles from where the particle fell, the astronomers were working inside an old laboratory in a trailer parked on top of a desert mountain. Earlier in the evening, Stephen Liu had switched on the computers for the fly's eye detector, which is an array of dozens of spherical mirrors outside. Each of the mirrors was bolted inside a rotating tin can fashioned from a section of culvert. 
The fly's eye array face downward during the day to keep the sun from overloading and blowing out its sensors. As darkness fell on that clear and moonless night, the scientists pointed the array to the sky. It was a pretty crude experiment, said David Kaida. He operated the fly's eye with Stephen Liu and several other researchers. But it worked, he said. That was the thing. This little particle was flying around on its own in the middle of space and just happened to be in the right place at the right time for astronomers to observe it. After the glowing contrail of the Oh My God particle was spotted in the fly's eye sensor, the research group spent a year convincing themselves the signal was real. The astronomers knew they were going to deal with some controversy over these results. The particle had broken a cosmic speed limit worked out decades earlier by Kenneth Greeson, Georgi Zatsipsin, and Vadim Kuzmin. They had argued that any particle energized beyond 60 exelectron volts would bump into the microwave background radiation that pervades space. This would cause them to quickly shed energy and slow down. There is a limit to just how far away these ultra-high energy particles can originate. If they don't collide with anything else during the trip to Earth, they will eventually come up against this greeson zapsifsen kuzman limit. This GZK cutoff suggests that the Oh My God particle probably originated recently and nearby, most likely within the local supercluster of galaxies. But it takes something of unimagined size and power to produce such a particle. When astronomers looked out into space in the direction from which the OMG particle came, they could find nothing like that. David Kaida describes the situation, saying, it's like you've got a gorilla in your backyard throwing bowling balls at you, but he's invisible. The Oh My God particle had 100 quintillion times the photon energy of visible light. At its top speed, if a photon were traveling alongside the particle, it would take over 215,000 years for the photon to gain a mere one centimeter lead. Also, Due to Einstein's relativity, the relativistic time dilation experienced by the OMG proton traveling at this speed would be extreme, to say the least. People on Earth would experience over a billion years, while the particle would experience roughly 24 hours. The energy of this particle was more than 40 million times that of the highest energy protons that have ever been produced in any particle accelerator on Earth. Since the first observation in 1991, seven similar events have been recorded, confirming the phenomenon. These ultra-high energy cosmic ray particles are still very rare. More recent studies using the Telescope Array Project have suggested a source of the particles in the direction of the constellation Ursa Major. I can remember learning about the WOW signal from Carl Sagan years ago. It seemed like science fiction when a narrow band radio signal, 72 seconds long, of unknown extraterrestrial origin was detected by a radio telescope in 1977. The OMG particle may be even more wow than the wow signal. It's stranger, more interesting, and potentially more revealing. It's a sign that something with unimaginable power lurks nearby in the universe. Maybe it's some kind of new natural phenomenon, or it's alien. Maybe it's a super advanced species who has taken physics to the next level. Thank you very much. This was Chris Rankin with Vanadium.